Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. In this video, we will get an overview of the OpenStack heat orchestration framework. We start at the Horizon UI and expand orchestration and click on Stacks, which is OpenStack terminology for heat workloads. We click on the Launch Stack button to proceed. On the Select Template window, both the template source and the environment source can be URLs, files from the local file system, or instructions directly entered. For this demo, we will use the direct input method. The simple instance.yaml file that we have here shows a very basic heat template for deploying a single Ubuntu instance. First, we specify the version of the heat template that we are using. Check the OpenStack documentation to confirm the correct heat template version you should use. Next, we have a template description. Finally, we provide the details of the resources we will deploy. The resource is type OS Nova Server, specifying that we are deploying an OpenStack instance. We copy the contents of this file and then paste it into the direct input text box back in the OpenStack Horizon UI and click Next. On the Launch Stack screen, assign a name to the Stack instance and confirm the user password. Click on Launch. The stack deployment is complete and we can confirm that the template is deployed properly. We click on the stack name, Simple Instance, to reach the stack detail page. We see the topology of the heat stack and verify the details of the deployment on the Overview tab. We then navigate to the Instances dashboard to verify the instance details, including the assigned IP address. Let us now look at a slightly more complicated deployment scenario. A single instance with a floating IP address assigned to it. Notice that this template has a new section called Parameters. Parameters define values that the user deems to be necessary for the heat deployment to run successfully. Each parameter will have its own text box in the Launch Stack dialog box. It is possible to define defaults for your parameters, as is shown in this example. We also have two new resource types, OS Neutron Floating IP and OS Neutron Floating IP Association to represent associating a floating IP address with our newly created instance. Another thing to notice is that we are using the getParam keyword to make use of the parameters that we have defined above. Let us copy the template instructions to the Select Template wizard. We can see here that the Launch Stack interface looks a bit different thanks to the parameters that we have defined in our template. We enter the required settings and see that the text boxes for our parameters are filled in with the relevant default values. The topology view shows the relationship between the three resources that we created. We verify that our new instance has been properly created with a floating IP successfully attached to it. For our last example, we will deploy the infrastructure for a multi-tier application using the Heat CLI client. The parameter section looks similar to what we used in our previous example. However, the resources section looks a little bit different. The resource type attribute is referencing a path and a file name instead of an OpenStack object. This is due to us modularizing our application definition and splitting each tier into separate files. The web resource definition is the only node with a floating IP address since it's the only tier of the application that needs to be accessed by the outside world. The app and database tiers have simpler resource definitions. At the command line, we use the heat stack create command to deploy our multi-tier application. We can now confirm successful deployment of our heat templates. And the creation of our instances. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack product demonstration. Thank you.